Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Have You Considered Job? And our scripture is Job, chapter 16, where Job's friends have come to talk to him, and Job is beginning to answer. Then Job spoke again, I have heard all this before. What miserable comforters you are. Won't you ever stop blowing hot air? What makes you keep on talking? I could say the same things if you were in my place. I could spout off criticism and shake my head at you. But if it were me, I would encourage you. I would try to take away your grief. Instead, I suffer if I defend myself, and I suffer no less if I refuse to speak. O oh God, you have ground me down and devastated my family. As if to prove I've sinned, you've reduced me to skin and bones. My gaunt flesh testifies against me. God hates me and angrily tears me apart. He snaps his teeth at me and pierces me with his eyes. People jeer and laugh at me. They slap my cheek in contempt. A mob gathers against me. God has handed me over to sinners. He's tossed me into the hands of the wicked. I was living quietly until he shattered me. He took me by the neck and broke me in pieces. He set me up as his target, and now his archers surround me. His arrows pierce me without mercy. The ground is wet with my blood. Again and again he smashes against me, charging at me like a warrior. I wear burlap to show my grief. My pride lies in the dust. My eyes are red with weeping. Dark shadows circle my eyes. Yet I have done no wrong, and my prayer is pure. O earth, do not conceal my blood. Let it cry out on my behalf. Even now my witness is in heaven. My advocate is there on high. My friends scorn me, but I pour out my tears to God. I need someone to mediate between God and me as a person mediates between friends. There's so much pathos and meaning of life in the book of Job. It could hardly be exhausted in months of study, perhaps years. Maybe only when in heaven we have one who can unveil for us the depth of Job's sorrow, confusion, and grief. This chapter is the fifth time Job answers his friends. They've been trying to get their suffering friend to see how he must have sinned really big and really dark to get God that ticked off. Job's children were all dead. His riches were gone. His livestock and goods carried off by robbers and thieves. And the icing on the cake is painful boils covering Job's whole body. And his wife has suggested suicide would be better. Most studies of Job focus on this calamity of a good man suffering utter loss. And there's nothing wrong with picking it apart in the search for meaning, purpose, and order in human existence. After all, God created us with a brain to figure these things out. But there is one connection we must never miss. Given the total unraveling of a good man's life, what can we say about God's purpose in allowing all of that? Simply put, all of what happened to Job helps us understand life's reign, good or horrible, falls on the just and the unjust, and is an example which Paul writes about in 1 Corinthians 10, which leads to Job's conclusion where he said, I need someone to mediate between God and me as a person mediates between friends. Job was hurting, and he knew God permitted everything that happened to him. He knew as good a life as he'd led, and as holy as he tried to be, his efforts just weren't enough. Whatever troubles anyone on earth could experience, Job was not exempt. He needed a mediator, an advocate, to plead his case before God in heaven. 1 John 2.1 My dear children, I am writing this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate who pleads our case before the Father. He is Jesus Christ, the one who is truly righteous. For you today... You may be on the verge of following Mrs. Job's advice to her husband, or maybe you've suffered little in life, yet. 
Whether you're there now and down to your last shred of hope or you're leading a joy-filled, even carefree life, remember this and count on it. You do have someone who will love you. His name is Jesus. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.